Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video we are going to continue on the um, beginner exploiting series. I'm going to be showing you guys how to use remote spy, what a remote spy is and all of that shit. So yeah, we can start with just looking at some options. I would recommend searching for uh, remote spy and then your site Vermilion. So it's only from Vermilion. If you didn't know, this is actually possible. Yeah, so you can see simple spy. That's kind of popular. There's lots of them. Both URL all should work the same. Just that they look a bit different and they might might have different. What's it called? Different features, yeah. So yeah, turtle spy. If I'm not, f yeah, this one is quite small. And then there's like frost hook. There's hydroxide. Hydroxide is also an up value scanner and stuff. Mister spy doesn't usually work. I wouldn't think this one works because it's two years old. But it actually might, I guess. But yeah. The one I'm using is a modified version of Remote to Script, which was one of the most popular remote spies. Let's see if I can find a picture to it. Yeah, maybe I can't. Well, yeah, but I use a modified version of Remote to Script, which is kind of overpowered. The version I have can use the compiling, which the original one can't so yeah i found the game let's just go into it and check it out i guess if you want a remote spy i'm using the list in my discord i will show you it otherwise it should be pinned in the general channel if i'm not wrong so yeah i have tested this game in advance just to make sure it actually uses events so yeah an event is basically just data and stuff which you want to pass through from the client to the server. For example, when you if we just equip this. For example, when we want to add data to this, like change it. We want to add one to it right now, right? It wouldn't really be safe doing that on the client since exploits can modify the client. Which means that we could just simple like one line of code and we could just add a million you know that's what you do on the server you pass through that data through the client when you click a remote gets triggered from the client to the server saying that yeah I just clicked can you update this this one does have an anti-sheet so you can't just spam the remote but yeah if we open a remote spy I'm going to use the modified version of remote to spy you can see that this is just the get time remote, doesn't really do anything, you can just disable that, get time, don't need to show that, let's clear the logs. Yes, yeah, so this is basically the main UI, at least of this one, I really like it because you can resize it, yeah it's kinda buggy, but yeah you can also decompile it, if we for example click this, we can click decompile, and we can look at the script, which this remote got executed from so we could copy this just for fun file made we can see that it gets triggered right here and yeah that's basically it just about the UI I guess so yeah right now we would want to obviously check which remote actually is the right one I would guess it's this one I actually think I broke this remote spy if I'm honest no it works oh I scroll way too long down sorry yeah I would guess it's this one because check red boost that doesn't really have anything to do with this and neither does this so if we click again yeah I would guess it's this one so if we just click on it and then copy it it will generate a script already made for us which we can test there and you can see that it adds one 
Yeah, so we can actually just minimize this. There. So if you don't really know what a while loop is, then let's just do while true too. This is basically just an infinite loop. And then an end, because otherwise this would just loop too fast and crash our game. So if we do this now, it will automatically basically form this money currency or whatever. I will see where we can actually sell this. Yeah, right here I think. Okay, so we could also fix this I guess. Uh, where's our remote by there? Uh, let's search for a file made and disable it. Because otherwise it would just spam like that. Now let's... Single video, yeah that looks like it. So if we execute this again, yeah, might have to do some changing in here because you see that it says my username's studio, which means it would only work on my studio. So we should probably do like game dot no, no shit, get service players. Bro, sorry, local player dot name. There. And now this should work exactly the same. Yeah. And we could also put this in a while through do loop. Although this isn't really a good thing to do to have like 60 while through do loops. But just to show that it works, we can do that. You can see that it works. Yep. And if we go out again. Yeah, so with that knowledge, we could, yeah, I guess we could do that. I will just rejoin the game, because as I said, it's an infant loop, it will never stop. We can take a look at some other remote spy while we're at it. Uh, yeah, let's use frost hook, I guess. I think that's quite good, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Frost took this is also a HTTP spy and stuff like that. So yeah, we can already now see the, all the remotes uh, right here. Can see all the remotes. These ones stack, which is quite cool. Yeah, it's in here, sir. And yeah, you can see that it's a difference between remote events and remote functions. And yeah, I don't really need to go into that. If you know it, then you know it. But yeah, you can see that this is basically the same thing. I think we can calls. Yeah, if we right click it, do calls, compile code. Yeah, same thing basically. Uh, we can copy that. And we could do like dot farm auto SD card, right? While true to if get again out SD card. No, no, we want to return instead. Sorry, return and it's false. So if this is, t I will just explain this after I do. It. So basically, this will allow us to turn off the loop. If we put this as false, it will turn off the loop, which you can see right here. If this is false, then we return and so this basically stops the entire loop. Otherwise, it just goes on normally and fires all the remotes. Oh yeah, shit! I forgot to wait. Sorry. Wait. That's perfect. Okay. Okay, so we're back in here. We can try this again. Yeah, we just have to equip it. Uh, we could do. Let's just set this to false. Let's execute that. And yeah, let's all actually do like. 
yeah so let's do if if we have this as true if this is true then we will start clicking if it's not true we will start doing this computer thing which frost hook there uh, let's try this and we should see it in here mode event oh shit um oh cash yeah single video calls compile code there um there let's just remove these same colons because i don't really like them uh game get get service players local player dot name this is makes it work for all players we should f check no we should fix something for that laptop because that's going to stop working if you update your laptop can we see all the computers that exist maybe holy shit what's happening uh close no yeah let's see if we can find all the laptops laptop let's just try that studio sienna yeah right here yeah that's laggy items pc let's see if this has some kind of like special thing you know like a way for us to check it ID one keyboard yeah let's see if all of them have that ID one yeah let's try this one and see what ID this has ID zero this one has ID one okay that's perfect okay mm -hmm. let's see was called studios right where is it workspace studios yeah yeah right there so we will see our studio and then it was in items you can see that okay so let's try to make a function for getting the laptop function get laptop and we will want to loop through this copy path let's just get all the children get children do let's do the same thing here game get service players dot local player dot name right there and yeah let's see um local item equals let's see do i have to get the path of this yeah right here or should copy path get no fine first child b dot name if item is not nil if it exists in there um could do like local id equals item find first child id this is not really needed it's just to make it easier to read i guess if you're new to scripting so if the id exists if id dot value is one yeah it's a number value then then let's return dot name let's try to do that print get laptop let's only execute this I think it should be in here cushion okay that's bad uh, why is that hmm that actually oh, that also has the same thing Uh, and we could also add like 
local keyboard keyboard equals item fan first child we could also just check if the keyboard thing exists keyboard and keyboard is not new yeah that works there now let's do let's remove this yeah so that's basically everything I guess so now it should all out to farm this yeah perfect okay yeah that works let's try to go outside and set this to where is it there true and it works yeah that's basically a simple out farm without and GUI it's a bit more manual than doing it with a GUI but yeah it works but yeah if you guys want to make like have a video of me making a GUI for this so you guys actually get a better idea of that then please comment that if you have any other ideas then please comment that too because I'm not really that good at make coming up with ideas and shit like that but yeah the next video i'm probably going to be covering dark decks slash decks and after that video i'm probably going to make like a gui for some game might do it for this game because it seems quite kind of simple but also fun but yeah bye guys